everyone welcome back to gomes tech talks channel i am dr gomati in this video like in continuation to dimensions so we are we will be discussing about financial management that is how to set up financial management in microsoft dynamics 365 business central so uh, before i proceed i'd like to tell you that this is my channel okay so this is my youtube channel gomes tech talks so if you haven't subscribed yet please go and subscribe now and if you want any exclusive access to the perks if you wanted to communicate with me directly um if you have any queries related to business central so you can join my community so that you will get um, immediate um, access to everything so talking about the next thing which is a functional consultant playlist this is a free playlist which i'm creating every week i'll be upda updating this particular playlist so you can go and watch it here so the complete playlist okay right from the beginning what is business central why to choose functional consultant as a career and um, a real time scenario and everything so previously if you have missed out this particular dimension setup uh, secrets of dimensions global dimension and everything please go and watch it now because even this is related to financial uh, financial um, uh, management in business central so we'll be discussing about very detail in detail about financial management in business central so why should we need financial management which is a crucial in any business okay which, which is what where your transaction is very uh, is important right so this is very including because very very important because it it needs based on this you will be planning a budget okay cash flow management is 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 particularly here risk management profitability analysis compliance decision making investors and stakeholders confidence everything you will be getting to know about all these things right so we'll be talking about these things so how to set up this so you will be setting up this in general ledger setup okay you can set up this in general ledger okay so on general ledger page we can specify a default setting called um general ledger so let us go and first go and check for gl okay so gl setup okay so once if you uh, once if you type you can see it's a general ledger setup you have to click here okay so click general ledger setup so once if you click general ledger setup you can see that you have a page setup page okay uh, general ledger setup page so before ravi proceed into the general ledger setup page let us first understand what is general ledger which is a fundamental and centralized accounting record that provides a comprehensive overview of company's financial transaction so it is often considered the backbone of company's accounting system so the general ledger is used to record okay which is used to first of all record and second one is which is used to classify and summarize all financial transactions ensuring that they are properly accounted for and balanced okay so the key components of general lecture, uh, ledger are like transaction recording double entry accounting account balances financial reporting auditing and reconciliation account classification historical re records so it goes on okay which is very important so once if you open this general account ledger setup page once if you go and search it here and type general ledger setup you can launch this particular page okay so what is this page is all about so this is a default setting for general ledger and other application areas be sure to complete general ledger setup so you have to complete the setup for each company that you set up in business central 365 business central okay so you have to set this up for each company okay so keep that in mind so once you open general ledger setup you can see various options okay so this is we call it as a fast tab okay this one we call it as what fast tab got it so here you have nearly uh, five fast tabs so one is general fast tab okay and if you scroll down you can see dimension is an another fast tab okay and background and posting is an another fast tab reporting is a fast tab application is a fast tab okay tax information is a fast tab so you can see tcs is an another fast tab so they'll be updating it every time so most probably general 
dimension background posting reporting and application is very essential okay so here you can see we will be understanding about each and every fast step okay in detail in the upcoming videos or probably in this video like i'll show you uh, one fast step very clearly and then i'll move on to the next one okay so here you can see that on the top let us first discuss about the general fast step okay general fast step and you can see there is show more option once if you click here show more it will show lot of entries which you can do it okay so this is very thing very basic thing which you should know so basic um, that is very relevant data will be available on the top so once if you click show more in the dimension you can see more now once if you click this it will show you what are the options available here so let us first understand about the general fast step so general fast step contains the basic setup defaults so display all fields you can click here show more or if you want to see only few things you can go ahead with the show less so the most used fields in general fast step so let us first understand what are the most used fields one is allow posting from and to this two things are most used one okay and then local okay then we will be we will see about the local address format okay so the local currency is here and allow default local address so you can see here that local address format is important here and the local currency setup okay so the local currency setting uh, like lcy code so this is also a local currency setting okay local currency lcy code um and uh, once if you scroll down you can see okay uh you can see it's inward rounding precision inward rounding type okay and amount rounding precision amount decimal places and unit amount okay all these things got it so unit amount here you can see this is unit amount this is important and local currency symbol okay local currency symbol you can see this is a local currency symbol okay and if you scroll down you can see more information about the vat okay so tax vat rounding type so this is what vat rounding type okay this is also important and other than that you will also uh, uh, very important essential thing is bank account number so here you can see it's a uh, it's a bank account number you have so bank account number and uh, you have all these related to the banks okay so um so you can see there is enable data check which is important okay all these things are very important in the general ledger we have to set up this properly so let us understand about allowing what is this allow posting from and allow posting to first so these will specify a date range that all users can post transaction in so a uh, uh, specific accounting period can't be closed in business central setting the posting date range prevents user from posting entries outside the date range okay so other than specifying these dates in the general ledger setup you can also assign uh, them to users in the user setup page that is also possible so user setup page i have already discussed in the previous videos please go and check so here it will pick up a posting from so when you can allow them to post from and when that is when, from when they can post and what is the deadline okay so the next one is what local address format so here you can see this is the local address format okay this is local address format which specifies the format in which address must must appear in the printout when we you need to make a printout so how this format should appear okay so here you can see city plus uh, country plus postcode postcode plus city okay so this local address format you can specify the address format for each country on the uh, on the country region space okay so you have a country region page as well so there you can go on uh, uh, go on specify that as well okay next one is local currency setting okay this all these things are available in the general uh, general fast tab in general ledger page okay local currency setting so just just once if you scroll down you can see about the local currency setting which is lcy code okay so this lcy code is a local currency that the company works with 
okay local currency uh, uh, where your company is working with so this is what lcy okay which currency so we are working with the inr okay so that is why it is showing local currency so based on your region this will change okay and you can uh, if you if you want to specify it for usd you can also specify that next one is uh, we can we will think uh, we'll talk about inward rounding precision so once if you scroll down so it will be there okay so inward rounding precision is there okay so once if you uh, move your mouse cursor it will show you the tool tip what is that okay so this specifies the size of interval to be used when you are rounding invoice amounts in lcy on the currency page you can specify how to round invoices in foreign currency so you have currency speech so once if you go and search for that no you can also see okay currencies you have a currency page where you can go and uh, uh, go and set that okay and next one is inward rounding type okay how you have to round it so specifies how to uh, round invoice amounts so the contents of this field determines whether the invoice amount to be rounded will be rounded up or down to the nearest interval as specified in the invoice so or the to the nearest nearest one okay so this is inward rounding type and next one is amount rounding precision so you have amount rounding precision okay so the amount rounding uh, precision specifies the size of the interval to be used when you are rounding amounts in lcy so even this you can set in the currency page okay next one is amount uh, decimal places which specifies the number of decimal places to show for amounts how many decimal places you want to show so 2 is to 2 so you can specify how many the def this is the default as setting okay so this is the default setting where it will allow two decimal spaces and maximum of two decimal places will be allowed here so you can also enter the number such as 2 which means that the amount will show with the two decimal spaces okay only two so this even this you can uh, specify this in the currency page which i showed you and unit amount rounding precision so this is another one so it specifies the size of interval to be used when you are rounding unit amounts items or resource prices for each unit in lcy let us say take an example that uh, unit amounts are item prices and resource prices okay these are all item prices what is the item price P per item okay and uh, next one is unit amount decimal places specify the number of decimal places to show the unit amounts okay and local currency symbol so here you can see this is lcy code based on this lcy code this local currency symbol will appear and the local currency description will also appear and you can see a vat rounding type that is tax vat rounding type which specifies how the program will round tax vat when it is calculated for the local currency okay so this is based on vat uh, and next one is a bank related to bank account number so which specifies the code for the number of number series that will be used to as a numbers in the bank so bank account number so here you can see this is for bank okay so bank as an another uh, 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 car page okay bank uh, bank pymtv so these are various uh, types of account numbers where we'll be creating don't worry we'll be creating the number series table as well okay in the upcoming videos and the next one is the uh, bank uh, bank reckon with auto match you have bank reconciliation let us check okay few things will be changing okay so you can see here so this is very important enable data check which specifies whether business central validates the data you enter in the documents and journal while you type so for documents you can turn on the check and message will be shown in the document check fact box okay so you can turn on when you are creating a new ledger entry okay so you can just turn on in order to check the the check it properly you can find more information on the enable data check feature okay so we'll be understanding about what is enabling data check and how to do that so this is all about the general tab so in the next video i'll be discussing about the other tabs like dimension fast tab uh background posting reporting everything okay just stay tuned
if you have any queries please leave your queries and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you find this video useful please leave a thumbs up and also share it with your friends thank you take care and bye bye